Hey, greetings, my YouTube and Twitch family. Welcome back to another edition of Things I Like with your boy Frodo T. Baggett. Alrighty, guys. So I got Wu Tang Month going on over on my channel. I did a Chappelle Show reaction. I got a few different things in the works coming up. I love doing this series, The Things I Like. This series is a way for me to share my love of things, especially music, with you guys. It's a way for me to show you, you know, and tell you what I enjoy, you know, what my style is, what I prefer. I am now getting into rap music quite heavily. I've always been a metalhead. I have loved heavy metal from the time I found it till time immoral, immortal, I should say. I will never stop loving heavy metal. Um, rap music is now like gaining traction as well as country music as well gaining traction um, rap music my favorite rap group is Wu-Tang Clan if you guys have not um, heard the Wu-Tang Clan yet or you know haven't checked them out and you want to dabble in rap music you need to go check them out but we are here for Megadeth Megadeth is probably my second to third favorite all-time band um most people know the big four, and I, I've recently, i not recently, but a while ago, I did um, things I like on the big four. The big four are considered the pioneers of thrash metal. You've got Megadeth, Metallica, Anthrax, and Slayer. Those guys are considered like the pioneers of heavy and thrash metal. And I think Megadeth has always been my favorite of them. At one point, I'd say Metallica and Megadeth were, were tied, you know? They were always really close with each other, but then Metallica released the Load album, and after Load, Metallica just completely fell off the map for me. I mean, they had Load, Reload, then they did like Saint Anger, and they tried to come back with Death Magnetic, didn't work very well. It, it was not terrible, but it wasn't them. Um, Hardwired to Self-Destruct, the new Metallica album, I think was decent. I think it was them trying to get back to where they were, but I don't think they'd ever achieved it. Megadeth had a few here and there. You know, they had a few different... Um, you know, albums that were kind of like a little lighter than their other stuff, but still held true to what I feel Megadeth really, um, really stood for. But anyway, all along with it aside, this is one of my favorite Megadeth songs. I think it's one of most people's favorite Megadeth songs. Most people will tell you when you ask what's the best Megadeth album of all time, I think um, people would say Rust in Peace is probably their, their favorite. And I would have to agree. I mean, Rust in Peace just from front to back is a masterpiece of music. So we're going to listen to one of my favorite songs off that album, which I think is the favorite of a lot of people. And it's called The Holy Wars of the Punishment Due. You guys get ready. You are going to have your fucking face melted off here. Okay, just in the intro alone, it it's just, it just, it's like pure energy. It just wells up and pumps you up. Let's get ready for this. I'm going to pop it up on screen and we are going to go. Things I like, Megadeth, Holy Wars of the Punishment Due. I got a Megadeth poster right back there on my wall. You know, as a matter of fact, I think, yeah, it's right there next to my pops. Let's do it. Here we go, guys. Bang. Oh, oh, alrighty. Dave Mustaine, the lead singer. Jeff Henneman, they lost him not too long ago. Oh, no, guitar players. Your neck will hurt after this. So good. You know, it, it, like, ugh, it, it's just like the amazing, the amount of skill and talent it has to, you have to have to play like that. And that fast and that heavy is just astounding to me. Love it. Like across the 
fall in the lands. Pass the sea, for they are believed to be kill on God's command. A country that's dead. Oh, it's so fucking good. You didn't expect that, did you? Alright, so you, you heard how pumped and how hit, just blah, all the way that got you. And now you're going to get a little bit and it's going to dun 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 and build, just watch, masters here, masters. Good thing that was suffering from seizures. Dick Rattlehead. Jump out that plane. Here, listen to this. Listen to how good this is. And then it just it just starts to build. Now it drops you back a little bit. Again. Oh yeah, here it is. Here it is. This, this is when it's get. This is when it's gonna get. You're you're just gonna get lit here. You're gonna get lit up. Check this out. Building, 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 building. Start shredding it. Oh, I love it. In, and then it's gonna come back.
fucking awesome. You just, you just can't go wrong. Fucking, I love Megadeth. Ugh, Megadeth. There's just, they just pump you. They just pump you up. Ugh, man. Hey, guys, I really want to uh, thank you for coming here and checking out another episode of Things I Like. I'm one of my favorite bands of all time. Give Megadeth a shot. They've got a huge discography. They've got so many good songs out there. If you want something a little bit lighter, um, A Toot Le Mans is a really good song. It's a little bit lighter. You might enjoy that. Um, you guys might remember one of the UFC games on the Dreamcast. There's a song that was uh, called Crush Em. Crush Em is actually a really good starting point song, I think, for Megadeth. So if you want to check that out, that was on the uh, UFC game for the Dreamcast. And... Um, <clears throat> Uh, Symphony of Destruction is another really good one I think you guys might like. So check some of those songs out and see what you think. But I appreciate you guys keeping it here with me. You know, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm loving it. The run is coming. It's going to keep going. I'll bring you back to things I like and let you know some more into Frodo's mind. But until then, catch you next time.